I'm Ryan, the DJ from Durban. I'm a DJ, VJ, turntablist, winner of 5FM's Ultimix at 6 competition, as well as a resident on the Ultimix at 6 on Roger Good's show every Monday. <laughs> In 2008, I won my very first DJ battle, which was judged by Ready D and P. Cutter. In that DJ battle, I used strictly turntables and all my vinyls and uh, having somebody who I looked up to, like the legend, Ray D, announce me as the winner was absolutely crazy for me. <laughs> From that time on, I had uh, radio residencies, some in Durban, local mix shows, and in 2012, I won the 5FM Ultimix competition. And yeah, that, that was absolutely amazing for me because that really catapulted my career to the next level. I think having the opportunity to do a mix on 5FM every week has allowed me to put scratching back into the mainstream a bit. And I think it's also sparked a lot of interest in DJs, uh, upcoming DJs as well. So the scratch scene in Durban is actually one that's now growing. I mean, I've had a lot of DJs ask me to teach them. So it's, it's actually good to see interest in scratching and, and you know, I have high hopes for the guys coming up in the game. Essentially, when it came to scratching and turntablism, it's something that I learned myself, buying DVDs, DMC DVDs, just watching what other DJs did and trying to replicate that sound and get it going on my own. <laughs> My emotional attachment to DJing is definitely the fact that I'm making people happy each time I'm doing a gig. And uh, you know, the fact that I'm behind the decks playing music, things that they love, making people dance, uh, seeing people happy. My girlfriend knows it's something that I love to do. It's something that I do for a living. And she's always supported me through it. And I'm actually grateful for the fact that she supports me through this. Uh, because, I mean, as you know, it's, it's, it's crazy in the DJ industry, you know, late nights, early mornings, and you know, you have to make up for it and I have to make up to her for it as well. So yeah, so she, she knows what goes on behind the decks and in this industry as a whole. You know, DJing is a part of me. It's something that I don't think I'd ever stop anytime soon. And I've told my girlfriend this as well. And you know, uh, whatever the case is, whatever comes my way, if, if there's something else that had to come where I had to sort of excel in that field, DJing would still be there to me. Um, you know, once you start DJing and once you respect the art form, it's something that's a part of you and it's something that you can't just let go of. I was uh, never comfortable behind the mic. Uh, I think because my comfort zone was DJing, being behind the decks. Um, in my first residency, I think I was sort of forced, I wouldn't say forced, but yeah, you know, to do bar specials, something that I wasn't too comfortable with doing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've always liked to be behind the decks, let my music speak for me so you could see my personality shine through the music that I'm playing at that very moment. And yeah, that's what I've been letting work for me because I'm pretty much, you know, uh, an introvert. Ever since uh, I've won the 5FM Ultimate, things have been, you know, really looking up for me. And in terms of interviews, being on TV, radio interviews, it's been crazy. And it's something I had to learn doing, but, Personally, I'm still very comfortable behind the deck. Well, personally, I don't feel there is a ceiling to DJing. Um, I learn every day. DJing as an art form evolves each year. And it's something new that you can learn as a DJ each time. I'm, I, I don't think there's ever a point where I could say, I know it all, or I've reached, you know, the ceiling. You learn from other DJs, you know, whether it's locally or internationally, because the art form is, a very vast one. So I mean, you have your DJs, you have your turntablers, you have your VJs, 
now DJing as an art form is crazy because there's so much more that you do now compared to a couple years back, just playing records on the turntable. My biggest inspiration in this DJ game, you know, whether it was just normal DJs or turntablists, is definitely locally, like, you know, you get the guys like uh, Ready D, Hammer, uh, Bionic, there's just so many. I mean, internationally, one of my favorite open format DJs who I've always looked up to, and rest in peace, DJ M, one of my favorites. And then you get you guys like Craze, A-Track, Mixmaster Mike, DJ Noise. Um, you know, I think inspiration drawn from all of them has sort of made me what I am today. Hi, I'm Ryan the DJ, and you're watching Spinal Mag.